They say the game is to be sold, not told. But I'm about to break the rules. I'm about to give you years worth of fragrance collecting condensed into one video. I'm about to give you 10 examples of happiness in liquid form. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to give you the blueprint. You've asked, now I'm finally delivering. We've got my top 10 fragrances in my collection right now. <sighs> Woo! Whoa. Listen, I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. So let's go. Hey, my intros can be so dramatic. But anyway, let's get into the video. So, top 10 fragrances in my collection right now. I'm ranking them on smell, performance, compliments, overall experience wearing the fragrance. So do I actually enjoy wearing it and overall wearability. So all these factors come into play. So I've got 10 listed out right now, but I've got five honorable mentions. So honorable mention number one, in no particular order, we've got our madness. We've got something that's trending right now. Something, a niche fragrance that's going into the spotlight, a niche fragrance that's going commercial. We've got Angel Shares by Killian. Listen, this juice. Boozy cinnamon goodness, yeah? Compliments on this is stupid. Yeah, stupid. I'm not gonna spend too long on honorable mentions. Don't wanna keep here for too long. So honorable mention number two, we've got the best tuberose fragrance I've ever smelled. One that I love wearing in the spring, summer, and one that will always be in my collection, and that's French Flower by Matea Premier. Listen, I need to re-up on this juice right now. I've used so much, and that's a testament to how much I love this fragrance here. Will always be in my collection. Unfortunately, it's an honorable mention, but beautiful tuberose fragrance so honorable mention number three we got the best of Baccarat Sons and that's Instant Crush by Man Sarah so of course you get that sweet cotton candy feel but you get this denser creamier sensation this creamier experience it works better on my skin than Baccarat Rouge 540 but Still, that's still a good fragrance, but I just, sometimes, not sometimes, probably I'll say about eight times out of 10, I prefer wearing this one. It just works really, really well. And it's a fragrance that just gets compliments. Of course, it leans feminine, but boy, it smells good. And that's Instant Crush by Mancera. Fourth honorable mention, we got the best iris fragrance I've put my nose on. And I'm an iris hater. Listen, I got a sample of this fragrance, took a sniff, I did, I bought the bottle straight away. Your favorite fragrance reviews, favorite fragrance, yeah? That's a tongue twister. And that's Dior Homme Parfum. Parfum version is a madness. Listen, Iris, a leather, oud, rose, grown man, juice, paws, yeah? Pause. Listen, beautiful, beautiful stuff. If you know, you know. And finally, we've got my last honorable mention. We've got the best backup dancer you could ever get, yeah? Best number two. You're Robin to your Batman, yeah? Listen, we've got the second best from Mason Francis Kirk de Jean, and that's Grand Soir. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. My juice has gotten darker with age. So it's brown like Hennessy right now. And that's how I like my women. Brown. Listen, this amber vanilla, it just backs up any fragrance very, very well. It's just a, it's just a good like second player. But that's the thing. It's only in my honorable mentions, as much as I like it. It's only in my honorable mentions because I don't wear it by itself. I always have to layer it with something. But honestly, beautiful 
beautiful stuff. Go and get your nose on it. Now, on to the top 10, finally. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we got the Harmonist Hypnotizing File. And listen, this is seriously sexy, sexy, sexy stuff, yeah? Sexy boy. Listen, sexy, vanilla, resinous, spicy goodness in this bottle right now. Performance, decent. Smell, decent. Reactions, decent. On the EDP and the Parfum. The first person I saw chatting about this fragrance on YouTube was Mr. Kevin Samuels. And love or hate that man, you cannot deny his perfume collection was a madness. He had the nose. So this is Kevin Samuels approved, and now this is trusted nose approved. And that's number 10, the Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. Coming in at number nine, we got Zerzhov's Naxos. And listen, special juice. Listen, honey, tobacco, lavender, goodness. This juice has got the aura. You know the aura, special occasion juice. You can wear this every day if you've got money like that, but it's more for those special occasions or more for those like weddings or like special date nights, yeah? Listen, I haven't found anyone that hates this fragrance. The day you find someone that hates this fragrance is the same day you'll find a unicorn, yeah? They don't exist. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And that's why it's number nine on my list. Zerzhov's Naxos. We got Nishane's Hashivat. And my bottle is battered. Listen, this is special stuff. I know the hype has died down on this fragrance, but the impact it's had on me. Stupid. Listen, oak moss, pineapple. That pineapple of Enter's DNA, it just works, yeah? And have I gotten compliments with this fragrance? Hmm. What would Pep say? He'll say, he'll say, what do you believe? What do you believe? Listen, to the point where I'm on the tube, people are complimenting me, wanting to know. I remember I was on the tube, the guy was in the carriage over there, he came up to me, he said, oh, sorry, what, what, what fragrance are you wearing? I said, oh, oh, Nisha Nehashiva. And he was just like, oh. I said, I had to pull out my phone, I had to show it to him, I had to write it down, because you think he knows what Nisha Ne is? Of course not, yeah, this is niche. Yeah, this is special juice. And you know, I don't gatekeep, yeah? So I had to write it down and it was a happy man after that. But listen, this juice has held me down. If I'm wearing a white t-shirt and I'm not wearing this fragrance, please call the police because I'm under duress, yeah? This is white tea approved. Beautiful juice, it had to be in the top 10 and is at number, was it seven or eight? Either way, it's in the top of them. And that's Nishane's Hashiva. Coming in at number seven, we've got Parfums de Mali, Carlisle. The best from the house, argue with your mum, not me. Listen, vanilla, apple, nutmeg, a poppernax, tonka bean, it just smells beautiful. And I told you, I love smelling sexy, sexy boy. If I want to be a sexy boy, I'll wear this as well. This is one of my go-to date night fragrances as well. Performance, reactions, overall experience. It's just a joy to wear. And that's Parfums de Mali Carlisle. At the number six spot, we've got the best from Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. And that's Oud Satin Mood X-Tray. Not the EDP, the X-Tray. I know before I've said that Oud Satin Mood is for the fine Girls, yeah. It's for the baddies with the bubble butts, yeah. It's for the girls that have good teeth, titties, and toes. But it's so mad, I had to get it for myself, yeah. Sweet jammy rose and that signature MFK sharp oud, yeah. Works wonders. I know it's feminine leaning, but it's just so sexy. It's, I had to get it in my collection. And of course, I had to get the best version, and that's the extra, yeah? So that's the number six spot. Oud Satin Mood Extra. So we're finally into the top five. And coming in at number five, we've got the best Halfetti. I've finally seen the light. 
we've got Halfetti Cedar at number five. And listen. Boozy, woody, fruity, resinous goodness. Beautiful fragrance, seductive, sexy. And you can see there's a few more of my fragrances. Look. All sexy, yeah? Seductive, sexy, and just alluring, yeah? Very masculine. If I want to feel like that guy, I'll wear this fragrance. I always get good reactions with this one as well. So, wait, I had to put in the top five. It's just beautiful stuff. One of the best from Penn Halligans, and that's hands down a fact. And that's how Fetty Cedar at number five. At the number four spot, we got my favorite from Maison Crivelli. A fragrance that I just smelled recently, but I had to get the bottle. I got my first reaction, first impressions on YouTube right now, yeah. Listen, this oud is a madness and badness, yeah. We got oud maracuja at number four. Listen, I'm not even going to spray this fragrance, yeah, because this is, this is special to me. I've only had this fragrance for maybe like three weeks or so, but it's been a madness every single time. And that song, God, every time. I remember when I was wearing the sample that week at work, they're asking me, they're like, oh, yo, what are you wearing? I remember as well. E, I remember. We had um, an agency worker who was there for like two weeks. So, um, his first week, I wasn't wearing this range, but the second week, I was wearing it like throughout the whole week. He left now. Obviously, I was managing him. I got a text from him. He was just saying, I'm the best smelling guy he's ever met or whatever, blah, blah, blah. This guy's in his 50s. Yeah? So you're telling me out of how many years of life, I'm the best smelling man you've ever met? And that's because I was wearing this fragrance, yeah? Listen, people talking about Ombre Nomad and stuff like that. Look, listen. No, I don't want to hear about Ombre Nomad no more, yeah? When this is around, yeah? It snatched Ombre Nomad's chain, yeah? So what do you actually get? I'm doing too much talking. What do you get? You get passion fruit, leather, oud. So you get that Ombre Nomad backbone, but with this nice passion fruit. And the, and the leather here is a little bit more smooth. It's just more unisex than Ombre Nomad, but it's just special. Performance is absolutely dumb yeah crazy beautiful 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 fragrance this will be higher on another day but today i got three more better and that's oud maracuja by mason coming in at the third spot we've got another madness ladies and gentlemen we've got tommy iomi's monkey special by zerjoff and listen. Hmm. Oh, you so good, I'm dancing. Mm. Listen, this fragrance is such a chameleon. One day is more boozy, the next day is more fruity, the next day is more leathery, the next day is more cinnamony. But one thing for sure, you're gonna get a sexy, complex, unique fragrance, and that's what you want at the end of the day. It's not for everyone, but it's for me. I feel like this fragrance and Uma Maracuja, they were just made for me. No one else in the world, just me. And this fragrance is so good. I had to search up Tommy Iommi. I'm a fan of Black Sabbath now. Ask me to name five songs, I'm gonna slap your head because I don't know. But all I know is that I like Black Sabbath now and I like Tommy Iommi's Monkey Special by Zershoff. And that's the number three spot. So coming in at number two, Another madness, ladies and gentlemen. A fragrance that has real oud, a fragrance that's a work of art, a fragrance that is a masterpiece. Beautiful stuff. There's levels to this shit. Damn. We got The Moon by Frederick Mar. Listen. I was gonna spray it, but I can't because this is so expensive. 50 ml. What'd you get? You get real animalic oud, and then you get this 
like you get red berries, you get lychee, and then you get this smoky shisha vibe. Mix it all together. That's what you get with this fragrance. Show stopping, head turning, neck busting fragrance, yeah? Beautiful stuff. Compliments, of course, I've got compliments with this fragrance from fine girls as well. Fine, not even fine, fine. Listen, fellas, this juice is so good, yeah? So exclusive that you can't just rock up to the Frederick Mile counter and just get it. Listen, you have to ask the sales assistant nicely. You've got to be polite, yeah? Be like, oh, um, can I try the can I try the moon by um, Frederick Mal, please? And they have to pull it out from behind the counter to stop you thieves from taking it because this is real oud. Levels to this shit, man. Go and get your nose on it. Frederick Mal, the moon at number two. So at the number one spot. <laughs> oh, you thought it wasn't gonna be there. You thought it wasn't gonna be there. <laughs> Boy. At number one, we got my baby. We got initial side effect. <laughs> this fragrance is so good. If I walk past your girl, yeah, yours. It's long for you. I'm so sorry, brothers, yeah? Stay warm. It's cold outside. If I hug your girl and I'm wearing this fragrance, she might moan a little bit. Stay warm. Listen. Master of seduction. My, my thoughts, opinions. Look, my commentary, yeah? Everything remains the same from what I said two years ago. Sweet bubblegum goodness in the opening and then you get that, that boozy cinnamon in the dry down the dry down is where it shines yeah beautiful 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 stuff the amount of memories i've had with this fragrance yeah the amount of w's the amount of l's the amount of times when i was out here being a little fox wearing this fragrance the memories is too much man it's too much there's too much behind this fragrance. This is still number one for me. Um, I'm gonna link up my video when uh, I did an individual review for it, but yeah, it's still a madness. So there you have it. I've given you my top 10 fragrances in my collection right now. I hope you enjoyed the passion. I hope you enjoyed the vibes. I hope you enjoyed the entertainment, yeah? So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll be very much appreciated. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, threads. It's all trusted now. And you know what I'm going to say. More videos out soon. And of course, stay blessed.